Got him. Hey guys, Glenn McDonald, 54 bus. Special day for me. I'm out fishing with Greg Thomas from the one and only Muskie Hunter magazine. We're out with his buddy Nathan. We are on world famous Lake of the Woods. Nathan got his fifth muskie ever. Yes, sir. Fifth muskie. So Greg's gonna show us what we got it on. All right, guys, what we did is we're out here throwing some blades. Nathan's been having the blade thing going all day. This is a 9-10 combo from Muskie Mayhem. You can see I actually got this a little extra weighted. Um, made this a three quarter ounce and what we're doing is just fishing some windblown reefs out here We've it's been a really tough day, but maybe the afternoon's gonna pick up for us uh, This is the second fish we've seen here in the last little bit and uh, yeah, this one hit on the eights Go fast We're just going to run to the shop. We'll do a 54 second breakdown, tell you guys kind of why we were fishing this spot and why Greg took us here. We'll be right back. Welcome to the man cave for a quick breakdown on this really cool fish that Nathan caught. So nothing super cool about where we are fishing other than Lake of the Woods this year is very high. The water's high. It is coming down, but from what I'm used to seeing it, it's easily three, four feet higher than normal. So these rocks that are just barely underwater in the video, you can just barely see some of the blonde of the rock. In a normal year that I've fished down there, which isn't very much, these rocks are completely out of water. But today we have wind coming in this direction here, blowing in on these rocks all day. So Greg, we had tried a bunch of spots and Greg's like, let's try some windswept main lake type of reefs and points off of islands. So we come in and we're kind of working this direction here and we are casting our way in. And actually Nathan raised the fish probably a little more in this area here, a smaller one. And then Greg put the motor on spot lock, I believe, for a minute while he was rigging himself up and Nathan cast back to almost in between these rocks here and right in this area is where that bigger fish come out and he was able to get it in the eight and the key takeaway here is we were looking for windswept main lake rocks this is what we found a little bit later in the day we did have one follow up on a very similar type of structure main lake windswept stuff i had it go on the eight it didn't hit but again that's musky fishing so let's uh, check this fish out coming out of the bag okay guys we're here this is one of nathan's first big fish so greg's gonna go over how to grab a bigger fish out of the net here and just kind of show nathan and guys, there's like no shame in this. You don't want to be sticking your hands around the mouth of a big fish. Greg's done this a thousand times. So he's just going to give us some pointers on what you do when you got a big fish in the net. Yeah, basically what you want to do is you want to, whatever hand you're going to grab the fish with, you want to be on that side of the fish. So your right hand, right side of the fish, left hand, left side of the fish. You don't want to do the weird open gill pose no. when you're taking a picture. So to get the best picture you can and to, and to be the safest, one is I recommend a glove. I Absolutely. Recommend a good, uh, release glove. We sell some at Muskie Hunter Magazine that work real well. Anything to protect the back part of the hand here and even some up into the knuckles. So, you know, for somebody that's, that hasn't done a lot, one thing that I see people do when they go to reach and get a fish out of the net is they want to pull a bunch of the net up like this. The problem with that is if you pull too much and get the fish up in the air, the fish gets skittish, it gets stressed, and it starts moving around a whole lot. So one of the best things you can do is to actually run your hand. You want to go down in here and actually, oh, let's run our hand. I usually try to grab them a little bit like this and then get my hand just up. Settle down. You did it. She's green. 
You did this. You did this. There you Actually, go. get it up in there. And I see guys that want to put their fingers on top of the fish's mouth. Do not but, do that. But if you look, there's a pocket right there where your thumb goes. I'm just on the inside of the gill. And then you can pick it up and it works really, really nice. So Nathan, run your hand just inside of mine right there. Grab it. Great. Support it with your other hand when you pull it out. There you go. All right, Craig's gonna move the net out of the way. Yeah, let's roll her a little bit there to get a nice shot of the fish's belly, some nice colors. Whoops, there we All go. All right, perfect. That's a nice fish, that's probably a low 40s. And Nathan's gonna release it head first towards me. Okay hey guys, that's a wrap. We ended up, Nathan got the one. He's seen another one on that first spot. And yep. then I had one come in hot. I don't know how the damn thing didn't hit, but that's musky fishing. I want to thank Greg for having me down here. Nestor Falls, Lake of the Woods. I'll put a link to the camp. If you want to come up here and fish with Greg on Lake of the Woods, highly recommend it. We had a great day, even though the muskies didn't cooperate. You guys know how that goes with musky fishing. Greg, thank you. And Nathan, thank you. You guys got anything kind of wrap it up? No, you know, it's just a great, cool way to spend the day out here in the summer, um, you know, at fishing out of the Nestor Fall, Lake of the Woods Lodge area and trying to catch some fish. And you know what, it doesn't always work, but any day you get a muskie is a good day. Absolutely. So for me, for Greg, for Nathan, for 54 Bus, we'll see you guys out on the water next time.